talk about this quickly. I mentioned it before in the pod, and I think some people have spoken about it themselves, but I want just to speak about it here. I find all of this fucking hilarious because this is again is further proof that you know house phone from no jumper or formerly of no jumper is now reconnected is legitimately his own worst enemy and is also incredibly incredibly lucky that there is a i think also like a small not so there's a segment of his fan base who does enjoy how much of a fuck up he is you know i said the stuff about the foozy thing i think there's an element of us especially people that watch stuff on online content and shit we sometimes warm to or connect with people who don't have their shit together sometimes it can kind of be endearing you can kind of identify them if you don't have your shit together also so i think house is really lucky that he has an element of that kind of thing in his fan base of people who just kind of you know they kind of want to um rescue him they kind of want to save him they want to make him right i think a lot of that happens there because i made the previous video about how house allegedly um stole 125 dollars off of his fans <clears throat> Of for one fan is accusing him because what he does online sometimes when he's short of money is that because it seems like that anyway it gives me that impression when he puts his instagram stories up he'll sell instagram stories ad space um which obviously is you know is self-explanatory or sometimes he will sell like old stuff he has like old you know streetwear stuff and sneakers and shit whatever this time this guy bought some jeans from him that he advertised on his instagram stories the kid um cash apps him 125 dollars um house phone promises to send it um i think at one point the the guy suggested hey could you sign it for me and house phone said he doesn't own a sharpie couldn't bother to buy one didn't make no effort to kind of do the extra bit for the fan whatever um they have a you know pretty decent back and forth and then as time progresses uh house phone starts replying and you know i think it's like four months or something and still the guy hasn't received his jeans <laughs> and um i guess everyone's been calling out house phone for it and he decided to clap back on the twitter and reply to everybody he's now deleted these tweets but thank you for the guys over at no jumper reddit for screen grabbing them but this is house phone's reply to people online calling him a scammer right with evidence too and there's evidence of him clearly scamming people and not and not sending things when he's meant to send it um and just clearly just being a horrible person to deal with when it comes to business online house phone says as follows motherfuckers can miss me with that scamming shit anytime someone pay me to do something i do it i'm not the best at keeping up with shit sometimes but it always gets done period i'm working on it but we're all human suck my dick i ain't scammed not one motherfucking person even if it took too long <laughs> so telling your fans to suck your dick is legitimately one of the most insane and hilarious things i've ever seen in my life because I don't know a part of me just loves the era we're in at the moment where i feel like content creators or just people online are just refusing to pretend there was a there was a period in in the world where people kind of pretended like they love their fans i'll do anything for my fans you i'm only here because of you all that sort of shit but i think there's some content creators right that generally don't think that way they generally have like god complexes they generally think they can do no wrong maybe narcissism who knows and they just own it and the fans kind of um what's that word called the fans kind of uh enable their toxic behavior because they just keep coming back for more so i can't really blame house phone for talking to his fans like that because his fans still keep buying his shoes still keep streaming into his channel still keeps trying to suck his dick on the dms and trying to be his friend even though he clearly has contempt for them and just sees them as you know attention machines you know eyes to kind of give him more clout and uh, you know walking wallets to buy his you know shitty copycat fucking air force one shoes whatever or wannabe babesers that's basically what he sees him as so i can't really hate him for that we continue and i'm talking about personal shit i'm not even talking about the brand bro we have a whole house warehouse that imports exports everything y'all think i'm at the crib boxing up shoes and shipping them lmao y'all crazy yes i forgot shit yes i may take a while depending what it is but i fuck with y'all niggas bro just because i be bullshitting sometimes don't mean i scam somebody y'all throw these words around so loosely but thank you for holding me accountable i'm working on it i swear so this guy just again as much as just it's it's kind of like you know it makes sense to kind of go in on him 
I also have to say like the fans kind of deserve this treatment for him because they enable his bullshit behavior. Um, it's technically still scamming somebody if you don't send stuff on time. It is. If, if somebody pays you $125 for a pair of jeans and it takes you four months to ship them and you give them no updates, no timeline of when they can accept them to be shipped, I'm allowed to say you scam me because I request, I'm sending the money for an item that you are selling. You should ship it to me in a timely manner. What's a timely manner? A couple of fucking days, maybe a week tops. I said it before, when it comes to buying stuff online, I have no sympathy for people who like, oh, I'm busy, I've got a busy schedule. If you've got a busy schedule, don't put stuff online to sell it. Because unfortunately, we live in an Amazon Prime world where most of us are conditioned, right, um, to expect our items to get to us in a timely manner. If you can't do that, then we're all going to freak out. We all do it. We all order stuff online and then we instantly check the tracking. Even though we know it's going to take two days, we're instantly tracking it. So why should I have more sympathy for people who, again, don't work again? Think about it. It's not like you're buying on Poshmark or Vinted or Depop where maybe people have regular jobs, which is different because sometimes people on those platforms will say, hey, I only ship on like Fridays or something, right? Which is up to you then to decide as a buyer what you want to do. But these guys don't work regular nine to fives. They essentially have ability to make their own timetables, make their own working schedules. If you can't, you know, f plan or figure out a time to ship stuff, don't sh don't sell stuff online. Simple as that. It's not that hard to fucking compute. And in my opinion, if someone gives you money, you're kind of obliged to like do as they say in a weird way because you accepted their money for something that you are selling so you kind of have to bend over backwards to deliver on the kind of promise that you've made the trade of that money of like i give you money you give me the fucking shit so the fact that he can't comprehend that is absolutely hilarious but i love like the I love the fucking the scatty drug idled mind of house phone on these fucking tweets because you can see him kind of like fluctuating between like should I just like tell him to go suck my dick or should I pretend like I'm 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 um appreciative of their support and I know that without them I'd be working at fucking um what's that word called Zoland not Zolando's um Zappos or something one of those kind of stores right like or whatever or Brooklyn Skate Projects or whatever it's called um it's really hilarious to see but again like I said I feel like the house phone fans need to take some personal accountability for how he treats them because he treats them like shit because they allow him to treat them like shit. And it kind of is what it is. It's a big toxic power relationship and they kind of have to own it as well. And, you know, I've got no sympathy for every people on either side. If you willingly send money to house phone, um, hoping to get your items that he sells personally on time, you're an absolute donut personally speaking and house phone himself the way he treats his fans you know the guy sent him 125 dollars that probably went to purchasing an eight ball or something and instead of being thankful that the guy gave him money to purchase an eight ball and send the stuff over straight away he takes too long and then gets angry and the person gets upset they didn't get their stuff on time okay anyway moving on